When I feel that he is, because let's just deal with him trying to roll me. He's just trying to roll me for now. Because I think everyone has the idea of they counter this with this. And it doesn't matter whether, if I'm here, this underhook gets countered with this. Right? If we've ended up kind of here, chest to chest, and I've made the corner change, and I've done all of that, right? So his arm is now here, it's still this foot being here that counters that. And I think everyone has got that idea. But when he starts trying to, to bridge me over, it's trying to get this switch. And what a lot of you are doing, you're doing one of two things. As you're trying to switch, and admittedly I'm doing this massively, we're all doing this massively late, right? We don't want to be this late. But as you're doing this switch, you're doing certain things. What some of you are doing is you just bring this knee in. Now, what fundamental rule have we just broken that we started explaining? What do we counter that arm with? What do we counter this arm with? What? Yeah, yeah, that, I've got no foot there. So he bridges, and I get dumped. Because I don't have, because the opposite, the rule is, the opposite leg to that arm does all the work. So he's bridging me with that. It's, what's the opposite leg doing? It's always about the opposite leg. Here, does that make sense? So if he, he, he's bridging with this arm, it's going to be this leg that has to be in position for the direction of force that that's going. Yeah? So, so as I'm, like, like if this happens, I'm, I'm trying to start at the very beginning. If, if we somehow woke up here, I would be trying to clear and get this elbow up, right? But what I want you to be able to do is, a lot of the time he's not going to start with the arm there. His arm might be down. And he starts with this arm being dominant, and I start countering it, and then he feeds this to here. And of course, the minute he's fed this, I really need to be sitting for it. But let's imagine I'm late. I'm late on this. So what I've got to be able to do is keep my feet and do this. And if I need to, I curl the heel up. So go on, connect feet, go. But I've not made some ridiculous dramatic thing here where, now bridge me. I've got a post here. I, I can't afford to start switching my legs. Because that's just like what we were talking about yesterday, where Pete's got his arms on my shoulder. This is the equivalent from me top. He's got his arms on my shoulder, he's pushing all his weight. I do a good job of defending and then I get a bit impatient as he started, say, moving up my body and I switch my legs. And then the whole thing collapses. And I end up on my back. Again. This is the same from the top. Everyone get that? So I just want to transfer weight through it. So there's no dramatic movements where I go all the way through and I just switch my legs here and there's no base behind me, which some of you are doing. And I don't do a big back step either. Because the problem with big, it usually ends up where you're square and your legs are, are like this. So I'm starting here, that's the bridge. This leg is countering it. If I need to, I can, I can lift my heel if it's against the bridge. Now he switches the other way. See how there's not really a major difference in, in the sprawl. I just sprawl it. No big foot movements, just turning the body. Yeah? Any questions on that? Because you've got to do it now. Mm -hmm. you, you happy with it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's go again. Mm -hmm.